this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Oh, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Oh, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine Hello, hello, hello! And welcome to Union Temple Baptist Church Omni Ministry Children's Moment. Listen, kids, I'm back. And don't I look good? I know I'm here for you all. This is why I do all this for you all. I'm your Auntie Steph. This is how I get down. Now, listen, the Omni Ministry is a church school for ages 3 to 12 where we teach kids about God and we focus on Jesus because you guys are going to need Jesus in this time. You understand what I'm saying? And it gets to help you guys learn how to move through life, when all the troubles come, you know who to call on, right? J-E-S-U-S. Big ups, G. <laughs> Just joking. Listen, we also teach the kids about their African heritage through Bible, historical, and cultural activities. So sit back, bring your parents, and let's do this Omni ministry. This month, we're talking about courage. And this segment, I'm going to give you guys story time. Who doesn't love story time? So listen, open your ears, your eyes, and your mind to this wonderful book called The Day You Began by Jacqueline Woodson. And who's going to read it better than a teacher? I give to you Reverend Shanta Williams. Take it away, Shanta. Thanks, Aunt Liz, for that great introduction. I'm Reverend Shanta here at Union Temple Baptist Church. And this is part of the Omni Moment. We're talking about courage. What does courage mean to you? To me, courage means being brave. It means sometimes I may be in an uncomfortable space, but I want my voice to be heard. So instead of fading back into the background, I speak up. Maybe in class, I may not know the right answer, but I raise my hand anyway. I'm willing to take the risk. All of those things show courage. And today in our story, we'll be reading about a little girl who has to show courage. And do you know when courage starts? It starts the day you begin. So the name of our story is The Day You Begin. It's written by Jacqueline Woodson and it's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. It has great pictures in it. The Day You Begin. So Jacqueline Woodson dedicates this to Saya, Nell, and Josie. And Raphael, he dedicates it to Santiago and Moon Whisperer. Ooh, Moon Whisperer. So there will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Almost like the first day of school sometimes. You can be going to a new school and you can be the only person in the room. You may not have any friends yet. Maybe it'll be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. Everybody has a different hairstyle. Individuality it takes courage to be an individual. There will be times when no one understands the words that curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. See Rigoberto? He looks a little confused. Maybe even a little sad. Rigoberto, from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. The teacher's putting Rigoberto at ease. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? 
tell the class your story. And so you might have to think about a story to tell, especially if you didn't go anywhere. So you have to use your imagination. It takes courage to use your imagination. We went to France, Shayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And you can see the beautiful souvenirs that they brought back from the country that they traveled to. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat wave as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud, hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen asleep. And in that room where no one is quite like you, you'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this? Where other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere. Just try to figure it out. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. So everybody's kind of looking at her like, what does she have for lunch? Her lunchbox is even different. When even your own friend Nausea will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. See, she has her bento boxes and she has a lunch box. Most of us carry lunch boxes, but bento boxes are really getting popular. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high. The run is too fast and far. The game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want them on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Nobody even picked him for the team. He's just sitting over there in a tree by himself. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Have you ever felt like that just by yourself when everybody else is playing and having fun? Somebody should have had the courage to go over there and let him play. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self. Brave, another word for courage. Steady is still and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. Just trying to figure it out. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class. Your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our own block, it was like we got to go everywhere. It's in a book. Her and her little sister traveling through the pages of a book. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. Now you're included. It was courageous. You used your voice. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. Oh, look, Angelina and Rigoberto are friends. I love it. And now they're all friends playing together. I remember as a little kid, I had to show some courage sometimes. I was really, really shy. People might not believe that now, but I really was. I was really shy. And I used to cry the first day of class. And I remember I had a teacher who somebody said was so mean. And guess what? 
she ended up being my favorite pit, my favorite teacher. One day she said, what's wrong with you? And I said, I'm scared. And she said, of what? I said, of you. And she said, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. She said, I'm going to teach you all the wonderful things that you need to know. And she was my favorite teacher all the way through school. I miss her. But that was a story of how I was courageous. How about you? What do your stories sound like? Until next time, this is Reverend Shanta with our Omni Moment. Have a good day. Kids, let's give a hand to Reverend Shanta Williams for that wonderful book, The Day You Began. Who doesn't love a story? I'm glad you guys came by. We will see you next time with Omni Ministry Children's Moment. Thank you for watching and stay connected with us by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel and all of our social media platforms at Union Temple DC. For more information about ministries and services, visit UnionTempleDC.com. See you next time and kids, bring a friend. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Oh, this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine